Hello and welcome to Bike Nation, I'm Bryn Lucas. Now in front of me I've got the Shark Speed R Series 2 Ranger Helmets. This one is the Carbon Skin, this one is the Foggy 20th Anniversary Edition 2. Now there are loads of different designs in the range, so check out Bike Nation to see all the different options. Also stay tuned because over the next few minutes I'm going to have a look at all the features when I pull this one apart. <laughs> Well, before we have a look at all the features, do check out the bottom of the screen. You'll find links to Facebook and Twitter and all the other social media and links to Bike Nation as well. Now, the first thing to look at with the helmet is the construction. This one is made from a multi-axial fibre and carbon construction. Therefore, it's got lots of different layers, lots of different materials, and they're all layered across each other to give it extra strength and extra rigidity. Now, it's great for the track as well. There are loads of reasons why, but first of all, check out the shape of it aerodynamically designed as well. You've got quite a sheer back too. Looks pretty aggressive. This one with a nice carbon design as well. Does look pretty cool. But it is great for a track day. And one of the reasons it's great for a track day or for using on a track is the visor. Now, a number of things to show you. First of all, it's got this nice little strengthening bar across the top. This keeps the visor nice and rigid. It doesn't squirm around too much. And talking about a track day, when you put the visor down, you can actually lock it into position using this area down here. The tab you use to raise and drop it back down has got a little pin just there. And when you push it down, it clicks over the pin and holds it in place so the visor can't lift up when you're riding along which is pretty important when you're on a track because you want to be able to depend on the visor staying there. Now, if you want to, you can change the visor for another one. You could put a tinted one on or whatever you want really, but if you're gonna use it on the road, make sure the visor is road legal. It's got a great release system on here. You see this little lever, push it forward and out it pops. It becomes quite loose just there. Then all you do is grab hold of the helmet, pull the visor forward and out it comes. Do the same to the other side take the visor off, give it a clean, replace it, whatever you want to do. Then all you have to do is simply line it back up, give it a push, it clicks into place, drop down the little lever and push it back and it locks itself into place just there so you've got that added security as you're riding along. Then it's not gonna go anywhere when you're riding along at all. So you've got those different options, but you also have, as you can see here, a pin on that side and a pin on this side. And as we all know, when it's got those on it, you can put one of these little insert lenses on, a uh, pin lock fog resistant insert lens and it comes in the box as well. So pop that on there and it won't mist up when you're riding along, which is a fantastic bonus. So loads of features on the first visor, extremely strong, scratch resistant as well, of course. But with this helmet, you do have a little lever on the top here that you can see. You can move it forward, you can move it back, and because it's a slider, you can also move it into multiple positions as well. It's a nice little lever, but it also does something else. It lowers and raises this, the internal sun visor. So you can see it drops down just there, completely closing up that gap, which is quite nice. And if you wear glasses, you can keep your glasses on. There's plenty of room behind the visor. There are also grooves designed into the pads to help relieve any pressure building up on the side of your head. So if it is a sunny day and you're riding on a track, you could, if you want to, lower down this internal visor. And you can raise it whenever you want to as well. And it's on the left-hand side, of course, your free hand too. So that's a nice little bonus for you. It is a fantastic helmet. It is packed full of features, like I say. And now we've looked at the visors, let's now move on to the vents. And this helmet's got quite a good number of vents and a clever system too. First of all, we have the rocker lever at the front. Now this opens up the front vent, the chin vent, and that directs cold air into the front of the visor across your face and keeps you nice and cool. You can open it, you can close it with one finger, very easy. You also have another vent here on the top, a simple lever on the top as well. Moving it forward, moving it back, directs cold air into the front of the visor here, or into the front of the helmet here. And because of that clever air channeling that's built inside the helmet that you can't see, it directs all that cold air around your entire head and keeps you nice and cool as you're riding along. But there's even a bit more because there's a lot of different design features to this helmet. On the back here, you can see it's got this spoiler area and it's got this gap to allow air to flow over and under the spoiler. Now what that does, it helps draw the hot air out of the helmet and it expels it through the vents here too. So all that hot air gets drawn away from the helmet, keeping you nice and cool as you ride along. And because it's got this spoiler system here and also on the bottom of the helmet here, you can see these grooves this helps to stabilize the helmet when you're riding along. When you've got tricky aerodynamic situations, if you're on a track or something like this and the wind's buffeting you all over the place, this will help stabilize your helmet as you're riding along, keeps you much more comfortable as you're riding and improves your performance when you're on the track too. So that's the outside of the helmet. Let's now have a look at the inside. Well, the first thing you can see is the chin strap. It's a double D-lock chin strap. This is great for track days because you can get them really, really tight. 
but also it's made of a lot of different materials too so you've got this nice weatherproof surface as well as a very soft lining as well so it's nice and comfortable it wraps around underneath your jawline that stops the helmet from lifting up when you're riding along nice and snug too and if you want to you can give these pads a wash they're moisture wicking so they will draw the moisture away from your skin and keep you nice and dry but if you want to over time give it a little bit of a clean all you've got to do is simply give it a bit of a tug it is in quite tight these pads the clips on these are very very tight indeed that's great because it means they're not going to come off there you go give it a little bit of a tug and off it comes just there little poppers basically built into the the pads themselves off it comes pull the strap through and this one comes off first of all. Now you can see how thick that pad is, really nice and spongy too. It'll give you a lot of comfort when you're riding along and also keep you nice and secure too. So you can take the other side out as well if you want to. In fact, I will because I want to show you the channeling. So if I grab this one, give it a bit of a tug, off it comes. There you go, a bit easier then, just got to get strong and brutal with it. If you have a look here, you can see now the skull cap, the bit that goes over the back of your head and the front of your head. You can give this one here a tug, out it comes from the front, there you go. Nicely done. And you can also pull out the back panel too. And from here, you can see just how thick the pads are. They've got mesh here too. That holds it all in one place, but it also allows the air to go inside your head and keep you nice and cool too. Very, very thick pads. You can give these a wash if you want to, let them dry, then put them back in the helmet. Now from here, you can see all that channeling I was talking to you about. All these grooves in here designed to allow the air to flow around the entire inside of the head. You've also got grooves in these gaps here too, so it will get completely around your entire head and get drawn out through all the different areas as well. So the helmet has got great ventilation. If you want to, if you've got some sort of intercom system and you want to insert it, you see you've got these little pockets already designed or these little areas designed that you can Velcro your speakers into as well, so it is intercom ready. Loads of features, like I say, have a look at the product spec. It does also come with the pin lock insert lens and a bag to keep it nice and protected when you're not using it. Also comes in a range of different sizes, so check out the sizing guide, and if you've got any questions, give the Bike Nation team a call. Remember, sizing is really, really important. Also, any orders of 25 pounds or more get free delivery from Bike Nation. There are loads and loads more videos on the Bike Nation channel, so check those out. We're on Facebook, we're on Twitter as well. Make sure you have a look at all the different designs. There are loads. I'll see you next time.